Charleston pastor accused of strangling a pregnant mother is out on bond today. 28-year-old Rashawn Wilson is charged with domestic violence. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share. Thank you. Of a high and aggravated nature. According to affidavits, the lead pastor of Southside Impact Church assaulted the woman eight weeks pregnant. With Let's take a pause for the station's identification. Welcome to Religion Link TV. We're sipping all the tea with no shade, talking everything up to Yahweh. Why? Because nothing's going to bury us in my today. spiritual ear. Stay ringing. Hey, you all. Thank you so much for watching. With so this before we do any further, a double S story. Oh, my God. Please, please. Hit the subscription box that says, the red box that says subscribe and the bell icon next to it so you can stay up to tune with what's going on with this channel and get more videos like this. Thank you. The alleged incident occurred outside of this church right here, ran by no other than the criminal pastor, Rashawn Wilson. Yep, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know who would want to have a baby with him because he's been arrested for failure to pay child support so women let's keep it real you women in these churches be out here loving the men more than y'all love god because if you love god you will see right through the man's bs a charleston pastor accused of strangling a pregnant mother is out on bond today 28 year old rashawn wilson is charged with domestic violence of a high and aggravated nature according to affidavits the lead pastor of Southside impact church assaulted the woman eight weeks pregnant with his child the pair also has two other children together the victim told officers she was dropping off the children at the church when the argument started. She says Wilson lunged at her and strangled her until she lost consciousness, causing her to fall to the concrete ground. She was transported to the hospital for treatment. Wilson's lawyer, David Ayler, says his client maintains his innocence. As far as from the case perspective, uh, being able at some point in time to provide, you know, the other side of the story, for lack of a better way to put it, and, you know, his ultimate goal is to, of course, return to the church and continue to serve his parishioners as well as the community as he's done for several years here in Charleston. Wilson faced a bond judge on Thursday. He was given a $20,000 surety bond. Ninety-nine and a half things a woman needs from her man. How to establish and maintain a healthy relationship. Would you buy this book from... Pastor Rashawn Wilson, a man who doesn't pay his child support, knowing that's something a woman needs for their children. Family, I want you to meet Mr. Pastor Rashawn Wilson and his wife, Deshana Wilson. Okay, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and read you a little clip it of this story and let me know what you think down below. Oh, but before we go ahead and get into this story, I want you to know that there's a twist along the way. And I want you to see if you can pick up on it. And if you can pick up on it before the end of the video, put the comments down below. And if not, wait till the end of the video to see how this has a major twist. Okay? Thank you. Hey, welcome back, y'all. So, Pastor Rashawn Wilson of Southside Impact Church charged with allegedly strangling the pregnant mother of his at children at the church building until she passed out. So, that church I showed you in the beginning of the video, that's where the alleged incident took place, at the church building. Reports wow. go on to say that Rashawn Lamar Wilson lead pastor of Southside Impact Church in Charleston, South Carolina, was arrested and charged Monday for allegedly strangling the pregnant mother of his children until she passed out. That's some BS right there, y'all. I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. Wilson is an author of books such as 99 and a Half Things a Woman Needs from Her Man, how to establish and maintain a healthy relationship but he out here strangling women okay would you buy this book from him i must insert a copy of the book here let me see if you go buy his book instead of mine and if you go 
listen to his teachings while he out here strangling people allegedly and i'm out here setting people free from doing the strangling does that make sense does it make any sense but anyway i'm gonna put a copy of his book in here because i ain't jealous i ain't hating on nobody and you know a lot of christians they set out to write books and to be validated that way but yet even in trying to encourage people and help people with their walk with god somehow they manage to come up and fall short more so than the people they're out here trying to help so let's carry on with this conversation According to his Facebook page, Wilson, who's also a relationship expert, is married to Deshana Wilson, and they have three children together, an online biography says. So I mentioned to you earlier, he's married to Deshana, right? So let's go ahead and move forward in this story. With Court twist. documents explain that Wilson was at Southside Baptist Church Monday night when the victim arrived to drop off their children. A witness who is a cousin related to Wilson and the mother of his children told police that she saw the victim and Wilson standing outside of the victim's car. She was then watched as they walked around the church she out of her heard sight. Them talking and getting loud so you know what that kind of mean right when people start to raise their voice about four to five minutes later the witness said that she saw the mother of wilson's children return to her car she appeared disorientated leaning limping forehead bleeding sand and leaves in her she hand. revealed to witnesses that wilson strangled her and she blacked out and did not remember anything after that the incident report noted that during the meeting between Wilson and the mother of his children, he lunged toward the victim and put both of his hands around her neck, squeezed tightly until she was unconscious for an undetermined period of time. Let's take a break right there. Now, this man took a vow to, you know, work on behalf of God. And what I like to say is a lot of times people assume the position of pastor, elder, apostle. They open up these churches and have no discipline or godly desire to be a changed person. They start these churches instead of get real jobs. They fool people that they're honor, on, like they're honest people, like they're godly people. They um, genuinely put this facade on that they're holier than thou and live like the damn devil. Now, this man clearly, first of all, let me say the news reports are off. One says he's 28. The other says he's 35. So, like I said, the news has been lying to us from day one. So, all of this is allegedly, y'all. We do see reports that this man has been arrested, failed to pay child support, has a wife with three kids. Now, I want you to hear more of this story before I go in even further. The report goes on to say, she reportedly fell to the concrete banging her head on the ground, resulting in an, in an abrasion to her right side of her forehead. Once she regained consciousness, she called 911 and was treated at the hospital. The defendant showed extreme indifference to the value of human life and would reasonably cause a person to fear either great bodily injury or death, a statement by the Charleston investigative officer said. David Ayler, Wilson's attorney, told the Post and Courier that Wilson is known as an upstanding and helpful member of his church and wider community. He also said he believes the pastor will be exonerated. He's not only a client, he's a friend, said the lawyer, Ayler. What so far has been reported would be a horrendous example of domestic violence. However, when the true facts come out, we believe that Pastor Wilson would be exonerated of any criminal act as he looks forward to returning to his church and the community that he has diligently served and will continue to. Wilson's online biography describes him as a seasoned prophet and seer. I hope the hell he saw this coming. I wish she would have saw this coming as well because this is ridiculous, y'all. The impressions 
and signs that follow his meetings are lasting. He is a young man full of the spirit of wisdom, faith, strength, and power. He ain't have enough power to keep his damn hands off of this woman. Um, his life exemplifies the Methodism of holiness through integrity. Thousands of souls have been led to Christ during the course of the, his ministry life, it says. Well, let me just stop right here. Integrity. When he went around that church, nobody could see what he was doing. See, integrity is what you do in, behind closed doors. You do the same thing in front of people. Or what you do in front of people is the same thing you do behind closed doors. So it goes on to say, thousands of souls have been led to Christ during the course of his ministry life. It says, but was his life led to Christ? Let's continue with this story. Now, you guys, it goes on to say, a WCSW news report said, Wilson, it says 35, was charged with domestic violence of a high and aggravated nature. He was released on a $20,000 bond, charity bond, and was ordered not to contact the victim, who court documents say is eight weeks pregnant with his child. He also cannot leave South Carolina. Let's just face it. His wife, Deshauna Wilson, is not the victim here, y'all. I'm going to pull up an affidavit and I'm going to give you the name of the victim and how many children he actually has with her. So the only other news I was able to find out in this affidavit really is her name. Her name is Shaniqua Johnson. And the baby she's with child with makes the third child with this man, with this married man. A Charleston pastor arrested after police say he strangled a woman pregnant with his own child at a downtown church. Pastor Rashawn Lamar Wilson, whom you see here, was charged today with domestic violence of a high and aggravated nature. He was given a $20,000 surety bond, issued a no contact order with the victim, and has been told he cannot leave the state. Court documents say the victim went to drop off their children to Wilson on Monday night at Southside Baptist Church on Buffane Street when the two got into an argument. The documents say Wilson squeezed the woman's neck until she was unconscious, fell to the ground, and hit her head. Those documents also show she is eight weeks. So what I want to say right here, y'all, is in all fairness to Miss Shaniqua Johnson, I do not know if she had all three of her children by this married man while he was married to Deshauna Wilson. But I know this last child that she's with child with being eight weeks pregnant is by this married man. You know, I don't know if the other two are by him, you know, during the marriage or not. But that's one form of evil. That would be the lesser of the two evil messing with a married man and having a baby you know by this married man okay but remember i said in the eyes of god evil is evil so when we have these men like pastor rashawn wilson take an oath to lead the sheep and, and and you know help people um set their souls free and stop being captive to the enslavement that this whole traditional christianity devil um rhetoric would would pretty much put on people to have them even more oppressed basically what i want to say here is we have to stop giving these preachers women men people of god passes when they fall short i think that's just an excuse for christians to keep getting away with what they're getting away with such as this kind of abuse within the church you have to remember as far as putting their hands on people, you remember the Audrey Stevenson story out of T.D. Jake's um, Potter House where Brandon put his hands on a young lady trying to escort her out the church. I did a video on that. We also have on the cheating side, we have uh, Pastor Jamal Bryant. We have now in the news uh, Pastor John Gray. We have, um, oh, there was an incident with Creflo Dollar punched his 15-year-old daughter in the face. Of course, we have the Roman Catholics who keep abusing the young boys in their church. 
We have so much going on, y'all, within the church that is ridiculous. Um, we need to stop saying, oh, that's pastor. Oh, 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 the devil made me do it. If you're a pastor and the devil made you cheat on your wife and have a baby with somebody outside of your wife, then you need deliverance. You need to step down from pastoring and get the healing that you need. You understand what I'm saying? I'm not going to stay on this too much longer, guys. I think it's bull. I think the, the Christian black church has gone too far. I think someone needs to step in and start stripping the pastoral ship of these people who continuously continue to make these kind of mistakes and say that the devil made me do it. If you're a Christian... If you're a pastor, if you're someone who holds a position in the church and the devil is still making you do something, then I think you need to step down and stop making God look bad. Because if you represent God, there's not much the devil can make you do anymore when you purpose it in your heart to live for God. Yeah, you're going to make mistakes. To this extent, I don't think so. Before you become a pastor, probably so. But when you take an oath, when you take an oath, when you take an oath to lead people the right way, this nonsense shouldn't be going on in the church anymore. I'm sorry, y'all. It's demonic. It needs to be addressed. Let me know what your thoughts and comments are down below. Let me know how you feel about this whole entire situation. Let me know um, if you know anybody who has a baby with a married man who says that he's the, a shepherd of the flock of God's people. Let me know about the lawyer here who seems more concerned with the pastor going back to lead his flock instead of even making a comment as to if the young lady is all right. You know, if, if, if is the woman okay that this man, you know, choked or strangled allegedly? Because I say allegedly because she says she blacked out. And it's possible that this story came about. Remember, nobody was behind that church to see anything that was going on. We don't know the state of Shaniqua Johnson's mentality. Did she set this man up? Did she take the kids to the church because she knew he was going to be there? I mean, read through the affidavit if you can. I got through as much as I can. But, um... Again, let me know what your thoughts are about this whole entire crazy situation where Christians are gone wild and they just continue to make God look bad. Thank you so much for your comments. Subscribe, like, and share. Oh, but before you do, let me just say that you women who are married to these men, especially Deshauna Wilson, if you know that this is going on and you continue to stand by it and allow it, then you're just as guilty as he is. And let people know that Religion Wing TV is over here shining her light on all kinds of darkness. So guys, Thank the you. question I asked you in the beginning of this video is Pastor Rashawn Wilson Shepherd of the flock or shepherd of the women. Are down below Let me... And let's get this conversation going so we can have more to talk about in the future. Thank you. God bless you. Peace and Let shalom. me just say namaste. Ashe. Ma'at. Hotep. Wagwan. Assalamu alaikum. Que pasa? What's up? Yo, yo, yo. And everything else to say hi to you people.